The Vandenberg Humane Society serves as a surrender and adoption agency for unwanted pets. In addition to finding homes for animals, the VHS also works to build awareness to the problem of homeless and abandoned pets. As of this October, nearly 2,400 animals have been surrendered in 2011 alone. Volunteers are vital to the success of VHS. I recently sat down with volunteer coordinator Cindy Donnelly to find out more about volunteers' roles within the organization. Hi, I'm Skylar Ruff with the EVSC Community Link, and I am here with Cindy Donnelly. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. In the cat room at VHS Vandenberg Humane Society. Cindy, I know the Vandenberg Humane Society has played a major role in the Tri-State since 1957. How has the role changed from then till now? It's changed a lot. Um, in the beginning, the Vandenberg Humane Society was made up of a group of volunteers. And they um, had a few animals in their homes. And um, now, obviously, we're in our second shelter. Um, the original one was back in uh, 1979 at, um, over by the zoo. Um, and it was much smaller um, and we've moved into this building about seven years ago. Um, it's made to be a shelter. It's a nice big shelter with a lot more room for animals. Um, it also has a low-cost spay neuter clinic in it um, and there's paid employees. Um, so things have really changed a lot. Um, we have a lot more programs. I mean, back then it was basically just finding um, homeless animals a home. Um, nowadays it's finding homeless animals a home, of course, still, but we're also helping people with um, low-cost food, or free food, actually, in our food bank. Um, we're going into nursing homes with pets. Um, we um, go out into the public and educate um, students. Um, I was at a Girl Scout troop last night, um, and the students also come to us here and take tours of the shelter. Um, we take in animals that are um, involved in domestic disputes. Um, and of course, our low-cost spay neuter clinic. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already or not. And our vaccine, low-cost vaccine clinic is open on Saturdays. So we have a lot of different things that we're offering the community now that the ladies that originally started this um, didn't, couldn't offer. Tell us more about the cat room that we're in. Oh, we're really proud of this cat room. We love it. Um, this has been open for a little bit over a year. Um, that it's been decorated by a Girl Scout troop that painted the walls and they made the stairs we have over here with the fishies on it and the sandcastle wall over there with the nooks for the kitties to hide in. This is the way sheltering is going for cats. Um, having it, you know, just a room where they can hop, they can run, they can hide, they can climb, they can scratch, they can do all the things that are natural to a cat and it alleviates their stress because shelters, you know, as good as they can be, um, even the best, are very stressful for an animal to be, you know, out of its own home and into an area that's just unfamiliar to them. So this kind of space is fabulous mm -hmm. and the cats love it um, and the public loves it. It makes it much easier for the public to come in here and if they're looking for a lab cat, they can just sit in a chair and if, you know, cats come over and sit on their lap, then they know who's going to be more of a lab cat at home, who's the more playful cat, mm -hmm. you know, who's the more, you know, independent cat. Um, so it's really a good way for people to interact with them. With the number of animals that are surrendered each year, it must take a lot of workers and volunteers to help. Yes, it, it does. I mean, we couldn't survive without the volunteers. Um, we have 25 paid employees here um, now, and we have uh, five of those are part-time, and the 20 are full-time employees. It takes a lot of people to run an organization like this. We have a lot of volunteers that come in on a daily basis um, to help clean, walk dogs, a variety of tasks, helping out in the spay-neuter clinic. So it does take many, many people. Are there any requirements into being a volunteer here? We'd like people to commit to at least two hours once a week on a scheduled day and time to work in a specific department. Like we'll have people come in from 8 to 10 to help walk dogs or 2 to 4 to help walk dogs in the afternoon. Um, in the mornings we have volunteers to come in and clean a specific cat room like this one. Um, we just, we could really use people that can actually commit some time. So time is, is paramount. Um, other than that, um, there's a requirement that they must be 16 years old or older. Um, that's for our insurance liability and just the risks involved whenever you're working with live animals. What kind of things do volunteers do? 
I mean, really, a lot of times it depends on what the volunteers' interests are in. I mean, we have people that'll take animals out to the nursing homes and visit with the, the elderly. We have people that help in the spay-neuter clinic on a regular basis. We have people work in the vaccine clinic um, and helping with the customer service. Volunteers answer the phones for us. Um, we have volunteers that help um, transport animals from our facility to other facilities um, in the country, usually up in the Chicago, Indianapolis, Louisville, some of the bigger cities. We need foster parents, um, people that take the animals into their homes. There's all kinds of different things. Um, I volunteer at the Vanderbrink Humane Society. I started volunteering here because I would like to become a vet assistant, so I wanted to gain some experience by working here. Some of the things that I do while I'm here, I do cleaning. Um, I assist the other vet assistants with anything that they need done, um, cleaning of instruments, making packs that the vet uses for spay and neutering. For those people that are either too young to volunteer or can't commit to being here all the time, what else can they do to make a difference? Oh, there's all kinds of things that they can do because a lot of people really, um, they may not even want to be in the shelter environment just because it may make them sad or whatever. So there's tons of things for them to do. A lot of the kids that are too young will have, you know, a lemonade stand or a garage sale or whatever. Or, or the, a lot of kids right now, it's very popular for birthday parties mm -hmm. that they will, um, instead of having gifts for them, mm -hmm. that they will ask um, their friends to bring supplies for the shelter. Um, so that's really been popular the last couple of years. Um, making things or donating things to us, like snuggly blankets. You'll see them around here in the cat room. Um, a lot of the school groups, uh, Girl Scout troops, they'll make the snuggly blankets for us. Uh, cardboard tubes stuffed with Timothy Hay. Um, different kinds of cat toys or braided dog toys. Um, that sort of thing. That's huge. Um, just taking care of their own pets and, and making sure that they're making a commitment to their own pets, they're getting them spayed or neutered, um, that's huge. Because um, that really helps us in the long run. The less animals that are coming in here, you know, the better. Um, we want them to come in here if they can't take care of them properly or if they can't afford them anymore. But really, I mean, what we want is to help teach people how to take care of their pet properly and to keep them in the home for the lifetime of the pet and to not add to the population problem. Another thing that um, people can do, particularly those that have children under 16 that love animals and they really would like to come into the shelter, um, anytime we are open to the public, which is Tuesdays through Saturday from noon until 6 and until 7 on Fridays, they can come in here to our cat lounge and love on cats. They can brush them. They can uh, just socialize with them, play with them. I mean, that's huge. And that's something where you don't have to make you know, a weekly time commitment but it's really nice that people can do that. They are not pressured into adopting or anything like that. They can just come in, sign in, and then just come in here to the room and just love on kitties. That's also good for people who have allergies in their family and they love cats but somebody else is sick and is, or has allergies to cats and they can't have a cat at home or somebody who lives in an apartment that doesn't allow pets. A lot of people that just come in here just to get their kitty cat fix. Um, so that's another thing that people can do and it's awesome for the cats. I mean they need as much socialization as they can possibly get so having a variety of people coming in different ages different ethnicities I mean that really helps um, with the socializing of the animals. I volunteered that here because I love animals and when I started in 2007 I didn't have any rabbits of my own, so I came back and started socializing with the rabbits, and since then I've adopted five from here. And I just fell in love with them, and I think our organization does wonderful things for the rabbits and the, and the small animals and the cats and the dogs. Reporting for the EVSC Community Link at VHS, I'm Skylar Ruff. On computers with the inventor program which is a CAD program and they design parts and pieces which are utilized in the manufacturing process. In the information technology career cluster we offer the Cisco computer network program. This program prepares students to design, install, maintain, 
and manage both local and wide area networks. Students will enhance their communication skills by written and oral exercises within the program. Career and technical education students can take advantage of competitive and leadership opportunities through student organizations such as BPA, DECA, HOLSA, Skills USA, and FFA. High school career and technical education program participants can earn college credit through dual credit agreements with ITT Technical Institute, Ivy Tech Community College, Harrison College, the University of Evansville, the University of Southern Indiana, and Vincennes University.